everyone hope you're doing good so someone messaged me on instagram asking me how to build twitter's animated profile using flutter so i'll be showing you how to build the twitter's animated profile using flutter first let me show you how it looks then we'll start building it in flutter so how the twitter profile opened up here so if you see the twitter profile we have a cover image on the top and then we have some content here and when we start scrolling this cover image it starts blurring out and uh, once you scroll a little more then we can then we can see the actual navbar here the actual navbar which has the title and then certain actions and these actions should be visible even with the cover image so initially we have a cover image and then some actions and then when we start scrolling this cover image starts blurring out and then we scroll up completely then the title should be visible this is the animated profile that we have and uh, this is actually quite simple to build it in flutter so let's start uh, coding it let's dive into it so i have an empty uh, flutter app here i'll open that so this is an empty uh, boilerplate flutter app we'll start building the twitter profile here so flutter has a widget called sliver app bar and this widget can help us build this functionality very easily in a very, very simple way if you if you go to this page this uh, sliver app bar page you can see some examples so let's see one example here so if you see uh, this is the official website and if you see one example here uh, so we have a app bar here and we have a scroll bar and if we start scrolling it you can see that this app bar kind of animates so it starts initially it has certain height and when we start animating it it starts shrinking it's it's quite similar to what we have in the twitter profile even it is similar so initially if you see here we have a app bar with certain height and when we start scrolling it shrinks in the same thing we have in the example here initially it has a height and then we start scrolling it then it will shrink in and it and obviously this app bar will be pinned to the top it will be floating and uh, yeah so let's build this it's quite simple all you need to do is use this widget so this is a widget called sliver app bar we have to use this widget and uh, when whenever we use sliver app bar we should use it in a custom scroll bar in a in a custom scroll view as shown in the example here so let's start using it using this so I'll go to my profile screen and uh, so let me copy some code from here. Uh, first, let's write a custom scroll view. So I have this. So right now, I just have some text called profile, which you can see here. So I'll remove that and I'll write a custom scroll view first. And and custom scroll view takes in a property called slivers and this is where we need to give our sliver app bar and the sliver content let's copy some uh, code from here from the official example first let's copy the sliver app bar i'm copying this i'm pasting it here the problem okay cool because we have given const it was showing some error so we removed the const now and pinned let's make it true snap we don't want it to snap so let's make it false floating let's make it true ah okay now it's again asking me to add const cool uh, so if you want me to explain this what is this pin snap and floating pin is nothing but like when you give pin to true it will be pinned to the top and when you give floating to true and whenever we scroll it will always be floating on the top and snap is a snap effect uh, it's it's hard to explain but you can read the documentation basically it will give a snap effect even though if you haven't completely scrolled up it will snap the the large snap the large app bar will snap to the will shrink to a small app bar but uh, we don't need the snap right now so i have given snap to false and uh, let's give it expanded height of 180 just to make it slightly bigger and let's copy some more code I'll copy some code from the sliver list. So basically this sliver list will give us some content so that we can scroll. Uh, what is this error? Flutter always shows some errors. Uh, it's because of the 
const constructor i guess so we need to remove const this is always a problem sometimes it asks us to give const sometimes it doesn't based on how we write the code but yeah so now i removed const from, from scaffold and i've added the const here uh, basically you don't need to rem uh, remember where to add const where not to add const just see the warnings given by flutter and uh, modify your code according to that that's more than enough but once you start uh, once you have more experience in flutter you will automatically understand where to use const and where not to use const okay so let's see how this looks so we have some text 0 1 2 3 4 and you can see some code uh, let's modify it a bit i don't want the scale factor i'm just making the text a bit smaller and let's make it tweet because there's a twitter profile i'm writing tweet tweet now it will show tweet 1 tweet 2 tweet 3 tweet 4 that's good so we have some tweets this is just an example so, I, uh, so example tweet these are not really tweets but some content so that you can scroll and we have an app bar what we can do next is go to our clear app bar so what, what else do we need next? So right now we have an app bar and we have some content. So now we need to start mimicking this app bar to look like the Twitter's profile. Like this. So what does Twitter profile have? So if you see here, there's a back button and there are certain actions for search and there's a more button. So first let's add these actions, the back button and the search button and the, and the more icon. So I'll go to our app bar and the app bar has a property called leading. So in the leading we can give an icon of icons dot back so this will I'm not sure if it is back or back arrow or something I think it's arrow back yeah and let's give it a size of 30 let's see how it looks so we have a back button just like the Twitter profile obviously you can add some background as well but just for this example we won't be adding the backgrounds then what else do we need we need uh, these two uh, actions that is search action and the more action so let's go here and then the sliver app bar again has one more property called actions so let's use that and let's give it actions of icon icons dot search so we need a search icon right so that's what you are giving. Let's see how it looks. And the final one is the more icon. So I will search icon as well. Let's give one more icon called uh, more. Icons dot. I think it is more underscore what. Uh, yeah, let's give it some size. They are currently smaller. Let's give it a size of 30. Let's give it a size of 30. Now it looks good. Let's add some spacing between them. So I'll put a size box. Width, let's say 15. Let's see how it looks. Nice. That looks good. So we have the back button, we have the actions, we have a cover, and we also have the content. And if you see Twitter profile, we have a cover image. I have a sample cover image here. I put it in images folder. It's called cover.png. This is a sample cover image. So let's start using this cover for our Twitter header. So I'll go here. So if you see this sliver app bar, it has a property called flexible space. And flexible space has a title and a background. So basically, flexible space is something which will be shown in the background of the, uh, the app bar. It will be shown in a stack. So we need to modify this to so we'll add a cover. So we'll go to a background in the flexible space. So right now it is showing a Flutter logo as you can see here. So now I'll remove this Flutter logo. And I'll just add an image. So I have a sample Im cover image, right? So I'll be using that. So image asset slash cover.png. And fit. I'll give it a box width of cover so that it covers the entire uh, background. Showing some error, probably some const error. Let's see what's the error. 
Yeah, it's because of the cons. Where do we, where do we have the cons? We have it here. We should remove that. Uh, ignore these errors. We'll add the or else we can fix it. So I'll give you a quick tip. Whenever you see a warning or error, over on that and you can press Control dot. Then you can see some options. So in this case, it's the Flutter is giving us a warning saying that you need to add cons modify error. So go there, press Control dot, and just press Enter, and it will fix the error automatically for you. Same in same in the other places. Go there, press Control dot, and Enter. That's it. Unable to load asset assets slash slash code or PNG. Probably I you in the path wrong. Maybe it's slash. Let me check that. Sorry, it's not assets. It's in the folder called images. My bad. Yep. Now you can see the cover image here. The nice cover image. And we have something called a sliver. Let's change the title. So right now the title is sliver app bar. I'll change it. Let's change it to coding is law. That's the name of this channel. Coding is law. And there's one more warning. I'm pressing control dot and one. There you go. Now we have coding is law. So uh, we have already like just by using a widget, we're already pretty close to the Twitter's uh, animated header. You can already see the animation as well. I can if you can see here when I scroll, it fades the background, and then we can see the actual app bar which is taking on the top. And when you scroll back, you can see that. When you scroll back, you can see the header here again I think we should remove the floating as well let's remove the floating let's see how it looks yeah we don't need floating if you if we add floating true what happens is for example if you if you are like at the end of the content even if you scroll up now this bar will be visible but this is not the behavior that we want we want this app bar to expand only on the topmost area so we don't need floating true we'll make the floating as false so let's see how it looks so now we have the content we have the app bar and when we are when we go to the topmost content then it will start expanding the app bar perfect so this is what we need and what else let's check the twitter profile you see here initially the twitter profile doesn't have the title and when we and when we uh Scroll down, and when the app bar swings to the solid app bar, then the title is shown. But in our case, the title is always shown, right? So we don't want this title to be shown when it is expanded. We want the title to be shown only when the app bar is shrink. How do we do that? So there's a way to do that. What we can do is let's go to our flexible uh, space bar and. Uh, Go to our title and let's wrap it with the. So let's wrap our flexible spacebar with the something called as layout builder. So what layout builder does is it it gives us uh button it gives us the constraints of its parent so that we can so that we know the height and width available for the child that is this flexible spacebar. So based on that we'll know how much height do we have for the space for the app bar and based on that we will we can hide or show the title that we want so let's start using it the layout builder has a property called builder and that's where we need to build our widget okay so right now nothing happens it should remain the same it's exactly the same we haven't changed anything we are just using the layout builder as of now but now what we need to do is we need to hide this title when the app bar is expanded and we need to show the title when the app bar is shrinked so how do we do that so currently we are using layout builder right and layout builder has something called as constraint the so constraints has again has a property called height max height so based on that we will be able to figure out whether it's expanded or shrink what we can do is Mm. Instead of arrow function, I'll make it a normal function and I'll return. I'm missing something. 
ओके कूल नाउ आई विल एड एड ए बुलियन कॉल्ड विजिबल कूल और लेट्स मेक इट इज एप बार एक्सपेंडेड is app bar expanded and how do we figure out if the app bar is expanded or not so it's based on the constraint so we take the constraint and constraint has a property called max height so and so if you see here we have given the expanded height to 180 if if the max height is equals to 180 that means we know that it is expanded and if if the height height of the bar is like uh, if you see this this is i think 56 or something when the height of the bar is 56 then we know that the bar is shrink so what we can do is so we take the constraints constraints dot max height if max height is greater than equals to a uh tool bar height so this is the height of the app bar if the max height available is greater than The tool bar height, then it is expanded. Correct. So I think it makes sense for you. So if the if you see this, if the overall height is greater than this height, then that means the bar is expanded, right? If it is if it is here, this this max height will be 180. So that means this bar is not expanded. And if whenever like this, the the height will be like 56. in that case the bar is shrinked and then we need to show the title otherwise we need to hide the title uh, actually we should hide the title when the app bar is expanded and we, sh and we should show the title when the app bar is shrinked right so i i made a mistake here i'll i'll reverse it if the app bar is expanded then we hide the title otherwise we show the title so when the app bar is expanded we are just uh, rendering an empty box so, so that we hide the title and if the app bar is shrink then we are rendering a text of all coding is low that's the title so let's see if it works so you can see that uh, it's hidden now and when i scroll up but it is still not shown what's wrong it's because the toolbar height is something like 56 or something but if you see this height the overall height in also includes the the padding of this so we need to add the padding also for this then it will then we will be able to do it perfectly media query dot context dot padding dot top so this is the default padding so we are considering this also and now i hope it works uh, still not working it's because of the greater than equals to i should remove the equals to then it should work Now let's see. Yep. Now you can see the title when the app bar is shrink completely. So when we expand the app bar, the title is hidden, and when we shrink the app bar, when the app bar is completely shrink, then we can see the title properly. So if you want to figure out like what are these constraints, what like uh, what are what are these padding top, all you need to do is just put some debug print logs so that you can actually see what's going on. For example. I'll show you. I'll put a debug log of the constraints dot max height. Constraint max height. Constraint dot max. Constraints dot max height. so now if you see the debug console you can actually see the the max height here so i'll start scrolling so you can see that initially the max height is around 204 or something so that includes the padding as well and when we start scrolling up 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 up, up finally it is 80 you can see it here and Let's lock the toolbar height once. This just just to show you the explanation for this, so that you get a clear understanding of this. I'll do this. You can see that the K toolbar height is fifty six. Now let's also lock the padding. This part.
So you can skip this if you don't want uh, a deeper understanding of this. But if you want to understand how these constraints work, like what are these constraints and all. So you can go through this. Now if I lock this, so if you see that the height of the toolbar is 56 and the padding is 24. If you add both, it it comes to 80 and that's the height of the app bar. That's the max height when when it was like uh, completely shrink as you saw earlier. I'll lock that as well if you want to see it here. So I'll lock that also finally. On range dot max height. So now I'll show you that. If you see initially when it is fully expanded around 178 something. 1204 when it is fully expanded and when it shrinked you can see that the height of this is 80 so it matches with that and we have put a logic if max height is greater than the addition of these both then we'll show the title i hope that makes sense uh it, it's a little tricky to explain this but yep uh you can put some blocks and you can try to understand it on your own you'll get a better understanding if you try to uh, do it on your own so yeah that's how you build animated uh, twitter header using flutter it's very simple all you like if we build it in like what 40 lines less than 40 lines we just use the flutter sliver app bar widget a lot of widgets in flutter and using those built-in widgets we can do a lot of advanced stuff uh, compared to any other framework so always, uh, whenever you want to build something in Flutter, just look for a widget. If it already exists, use that widget. If it doesn't exist, then you can start building on your own. But uh, in our use case, uh, the Sliver app already exists. So we used it to build the Twitter animated header. And if you see the Twitter profile here, few more things are also animated. So right now we animated only the, the header, which has the cover. And uh, if you see the Twitter profile, there are a few more things which are animated. For example, the profile avatar. Even this is animated in case of Twitter. And also, if you see this tab bar, even this sticks. Once we scroll up, this sticks here. And once you scroll down, then it stops sticking. This also, this also can be done with Flutter very easily. But I'll, I'll not be showing that in this video. If you want to know how to do that, how to do how to animate the profile avatar and the tabs, then please drop a comment below. So that I know that people are interested in this and then I can build then I can make a part two of this video showing how to animate the profile and also the tab. So that's it for this video. So I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you like the video, please give a like, subscribe to the channel and share the video. So thank you guys. See you. Bye bye.